What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we watched from 2015, which doesn't seem that long ago, but shit, that's what, eight years ago already? Whew, we're almost closing in on a decade. I, I remember going to see this movie when I was 16 years old. Like it was, I, and I really liked it then and rewatching it now, I honestly still really like this movie. Um, maybe it's just because I'm such a James Spader fan. Uh, but Avengers Age of Ultron is a solid freaking movie. Whether it's this team up right like this team up shots great with the hulk iron man flying in you got cap on the bike you got even hawkeye with the bow and arrow you got black widow in there throwing a kick at this guy thor with his hammer right it, it gave you some great smash panels right you know what i mean where in the comic books you open up to that one big page where there's just a big fight scene and you see all the different uh heroes fighting in their own action poses and stuff like that um it, it's just real solid but even just like the whole avengers crew right it's you got your original six sure you got thor iron man cap black widow hawkeye sure you got hulk you know your original six but then you add the vision you add wanda you add quicksilver for a brief moment um you know spoilers but not spoilers this movie is almost a decade old eight years old <laughs> if you don't know quicksilver dies where the fuck you been <laughs> um but poor quicksilver uh, and iron taylor johnson now going to be craven for the sony universe uh was quickly killed off in this movie and honestly his death at least is impactful. It's more impactful than fucking Maria Hill and Talos in Secret Invasion. That's a, at least at least that's what I'm saying, All right? Like he, you know, he he pushes Jeremy Renner out of the way because if Jeremy Renner died right there, it would have been like he got ran over by a snowcat went and died. Right? We would have been shocked. Like we would be like, what the fuck? No way, Hawkeye could die right now. Like, uh, you know, like he, he was. He's not, like, super-powered, but he's still, like, Hawkeye's the man. I really like Jeremy Renner. I want to see him stick around. And if he was, if he had died and he wasn't in Endgame with that tattooed sleeve as the Ronin, I don't know. I really like that version of Hawkeye. And then the Hawkeye that's in the Hawkeye TV show with Kate Bishop with uh, Haley Steinfeld. I really liked that show and loved, loved that it made my holiday season so much better a couple years ago. Um, you know, like, you just had weekly holiday Marvel show. Like, oh, it was awesome. Um, you know, also slightly awesome was the special presentation from the Guardians last year's Christmas and then the Halloween one last year. I don't know if we're going to have one for this year's holiday season and that's really going to bum me out. I'll rewatch the ones from the last years, but you know, I will stand by that Werewolf by Night is going to be a banger of a, of a Halloween movie to rewatch for, for or, or watch in general for anyone that hasn't watched it, um, but back to Age of Ultron. Ultron himself, you know, his design where he's like this giant robot thing, um, you know, he's very much like Iron Man, if you will, but he's a sentient AI robot. <laughs> like, I don't know. It, I, I, I don't think his design was perfect. I honestly like his like Vision Ultron from What If design a little bit better, but that's like if Ultron, this Ultron achieved his goal and was able to fully print himself a body, and that Ultron was honestly scary as fuck. He, he killed everyone, saw the Watcher, killed everyone in different universes, had to be stopped by the Guardians of the Multiverse. Like, if that was live action, then honestly that show probably would have been great. But even so, in anim animation, that show was pretty great. Um, we're still kind of waiting for What If Season 2. I thought we would have got that by now for sure um but you know when that comes it comes uh but age of ultron you know i think it really is just james spader i love the blacklist if you haven't checked that out this man makes a fedora in like a little suit <laughs> and glasses so intimidating like he's so good like james spader is so good as raymond reddington in this final season Oh, how it ends. Like, I've been talking in my movie reviews when a movie has a satisfying ending. I haven't watched many shows where the final episode is really satisfying. Like Game of Thrones, right? The fi I think everyone that has watched Game of Thrones that really loves Game of Thrones agrees that the final season isn't great. But the first... Hmm, Rewatching, I really like the first two seasons. My first time around, the first two seasons were pretty slow and rough. But by the middle of season three to season seven, 
all of that shit's bangers, right? You cannot tell me that that's not the greatest television show, right? Just so, like, so many juicy details and story moments and visual action. and It's just amazing. It's just great. Like, if you haven't gotten through... Uh, fuck it. Like, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, skip season one and two. Start at, like, season three. And if you get to season seven and you haven't found a single episode that you don't like... Then I rest. Then, then maybe it's not for you. But there's got to be something from season three to season seven that you like. That just has to be. Um, I, I refuse to believe that you you don't like it. Um, now that being said about Blacklist, that show is very long. It's hour episodes, just like uh, Game of Thrones. But Blacklist episodes were on TV for a while, so at least there was some commercials and shit that you could skip through if you recorded it. But James Spader is the man i love his voice uh and as an actor he's superb um i honestly comment below more james spader movies i gotta check out more with him maybe younger because I, I can't picture him being a, any worse of an actor younger i picture like him just being this charismatic dude all along um but as an older gent like in in the blacklist like he's not doing action like he's not diving over a table but everything he does do Every dialogue moment with this guy is perfection, right? So there's quite a few lines in Age of Ultron where he's just talking and I'm like, wow, like, I think I would have just rather seen James Spader be Ultron. You know, instead of this robot, like, just let it be just James Spader. Like, even just in the VFX, like, the uh, the CGI, um, like, pajamas. Like, just like just if he was standing there in the, in the CGI pajamas with the dots on his face, I think that honestly would have been a little bit more intimidating than Ultron. <laughs> but, no, maybe I'm kidding. Maybe. <laughs> but, uh, Age of Ultron, man. I, I give it four out of five stars. Uh, I look back on it with fond memories. It really spikes and starts the multiverse saga, which I really like. Um, that whole multiverse saga ending with Thanos. Like, it just... It's solid all the way through, like how everything connects and makes it better and builds. It's just great. And uh, I love the language line. You know, Tony flies into a, a shield. Shit! Language! And then it cuts like, and they don't directly acknowledge it, but then a couple, see, a couple minutes later, no one's going to say anything about Cap saying language? I know, I know. And then he throws a bike and he's like... That one's not going away anytime soon. And then all movie at various different points, language comes back. And then it's, you know, perfect by the end. You get that perfect callback comedy line. Fury pulls up in a helicarrier. Fury, you son of a bitch. Ooh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? Like, now, Cap, we've come full circle. Cap's saying language. By the end of the movie, Cap's going, you son of a bitch, right? Like, now Cap's broken down so much that he's swearing. Like... Cap's one of my favorite characters. Thor's one of my favorite characters. I think they're all my favorite characters. But if I had to put one, like, one of them above any of them, I really, it's so hard. But, like, I, I, I go back and forth all the time, whether it's Cap or Hulk. Like, I've always identified with that rage monster inside. And this movie has that rage monster being rageful and a monster, which I like. But it also has the character moments where he falls in love with Nat, which I kind of really, I'm a sucker for a love story. I, I kind of liked that Nat's like, you think you're the only fucking monster just because you can destroy everything and turn green? I'm a monster and I'm just a lady. Like, I look like this beautiful beast, but she got created to be this assassin from the Black Widow movie. And then even so, going back and watching this movie, have seen the Black Widow movie. Oh man, like it, it hits different, right? Like, every scene with Nat hits different. Um, and Scarlett Johansson's wonderful. Like, let's be real. She's just, she's a great Black Widow. I really like her as Black Widow. Um, you know, and I was really sad to see her die in Endgame. You know, like, same with Gamora. Two of those characters, I was like, we did not need to kill them. Like, we did not. Like, but we did. And then they brought Gamora back somehow, which I'm happy about. But I'm still waiting for ScarJo to come back. I'm like, come on. We could, we could, we could, we could, we could come on. You could come back, right? Like, <sighs> But some people, I guess, have to stay dead. Quicksilver, but even so, then Quicksilver wasn't played by Aaron Taylor Johnson. was played by that dude from, fuck, I really should know his name, Evan Peters. He was played by Evan Peters in WandaVision. See how my brain works? I'm like, 
right? I'm, I'm talking for 10 minutes straight, no script, and I'm just kind of flowing, and all of a sudden I'm like, uh, for a quick second, and then it pops in there somehow. Who knows? My brain, I, I, I've said it before, my brain to me is like Google. <laughs> There's just so many things in there that it's hard to like get the answers you need immediately all the time, right? Most of the time I'm pretty good, but all of a sudden I'll hit that reboot and I'll check out for a second as the circle spins and then it comes to me and I'm like, oh, I don't know where that answer came from, but it came from the back of my head, popped to the front of my brain and said, hey, say this now. <laughs> like, but... I think I've been rambling for a little bit now, so comment below, uh, what's your favorite Avengers movie? I, I really do like this movie. Did you like this movie originally? Uh, are you more of a fan of this movie after the fact? I know Joss Whedon in, in his Justice League, a lot of people don't like, so, you know, people have mixed feelings and mixed decisions when it comes to this movie because of that director, but... I don't like to read into the details on directors, especially if they're not like a James Gunn where I actually really enjoy the person and then I like his work separate. Um, I just like that James Gunn speaks his fucking mind. You know, he's an individual and I like people like that. People that are just not afraid to be them fucking selves and he's like, fucking fire me. I'll go make a movie by myself. I don't care. Like, you know, like he's just one of those dudes. He talks shit on, in on Twitter and Instagram to people that are spewing false information. He's like, this is fake. Don't trust this. This is, f this is the real message that needs to get across and he he clarifies which i really enjoy i wish kevin feige did shit like that but kevin feige also plays the route like he's the man behind the curtain kevin feige's like the wizard of oz like <laughs> he's behind the curtain like i don't know what you're talking about but he sees and hears everything i really truly believe that kevin feige's a weird wizard and he lost the reins for a bit through that covid and a bunch of that shit but i hope with marvel slowing down right now that kevin grabbed the reins again He's getting more hands-on. He's making sure things are coming out that are perfect, right? Because we can't just have good, right? We've done perfect for so long that good does, isn't good enough when you've had better or best, right? Like, good is great for some people, but great is best for some people. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can't just have mm, good, best, and just, like, keep going up and down. I get it. People need ups and downs. And people are always going to have up and up and downs with movies and shows. But overall, for a long time, we were all like this. And then it just seems through the last couple of years, we were going, oh, we love WandaVision. Oh, I love Loki. Oh, Falcon Winter Soldier was good, but not the whole series. The last episode was pretty good, though. We're going back up. And then we get things, you know, like Miss Marvel. I liked it. I know a buddy of mine that fucking can't stand it, like, hates it with a passion, you know, isn't going to see the Marvel's movie because he hates Brie Larson, and, and I'm like, you know, whatever, I really don't give a fuck, I'll go watch it because it's a Marvel movie, um, you know, and I like movies in general, so I'm like, I'll go see it, fuck it, why not, it looks pretty good, the trailer, it, it looks good to me, like, if it looked bad, I think I wouldn't go see it, but, you know, I'm not necessarily mad at Iman or any of them so I'm like fuck it I'll go see it I went and saw Barbie by myself fuck it like you know what don't make anyone and their opinions change your opinion on a movie and you can't have an opinion on a movie if you haven't seen it right so go check out anything that you're gonna watch go check it out for yourself make sure you enjoy it and then have your own thoughts and opinions on a movie not just oh the critic said it was terrible so I think it's terrible what? You're not him. Go have your own thoughts on an on a matter for once, please. Comment your thoughts and your reviews in the comment section below. My the links are in the description. Go check me out on Letterbox, Twitter, Instagram. Go follow me uh, on my other social medias. Hit subscribe, like if you're new. I'm sorry I've been rambling, but I just wanted to talk a little bit more with you guys and, and share my thoughts about movies and the Avengers and where we're heading with Marvel. But overall. I th still think I really like this Avengers Age of Ultron. I would love to hear what you guys have to say on the matter in the comment section below. So I'll see you, all of you in the next video. We'll be talking about They Cloned Tyrone. All right, peace.